What's up, boys? Today, we're taking a look at some more MLB player props today over on Prize Picks. This is going to be an early morning video today, and I'm recording this late at night. So, full disclaimer these are props available at 12 30 this morning. Patreon has already gotten these plays like right now at the time of this recording at like 12 20 in the morning. So, they have already gotten it. If you guys are interested in joining the Patreon, I post tons and tons of plays over on the Patreon. Yesterday, we were five and one, so that was really good. I actually played a little bit less than I kind of usually try to, but. 5 and 1 yesterday over on the Patreon. If you guys are interested in joining, the link is in my description. It's less than 40 cents for a whole month. So, yeah, go ahead and check it out if you guys are interested. Have been doing very well. Pretty close to a 70% hit rate this season over on the Patreon. So, it's been going very, very well this season. I've been loving MLB so far this season. But if you guys are not already on prize picks, you guys are missing out. 100% deposit match up to $100 using my code DOMG. So, Really would appreciate if you guys would go ahead and use my code. If you guys are joining Prize Picks, highly recommend it. I mean, no other website out there. They don't have all the props up currently, but like, there's total, there's plenty of websites out there. I don't think anyone else has his plus walks right here. I don't think anyone else has hitter fantasy score or pitcher fantasy score. At least very, very few of them. Pitchers thrown right there. Uh, there's tons and tons of other props on the prop on the uh, on the website slash app. So definitely go ahead and join. Uh, link is in my description, available in most states in Canada. But sorry, real long intro, let's hop in. Just more of the story. Patreon link in the description, less than 40 cents a month. You guys can get plenty of my plays, every single one of them. If you guys are interested in joining that, it's only 10 bucks a month. So if you guys are interested in joining that, by any means, you guys don't have to, obviously. But And then prize picks link in the description. But always tail at your guys' own risk. Tail at your own risk here. But yesterday we hit. I forgot to mention this. I don't know how I didn't mention this. 2-0 yesterday in the video. So quick little recap before we hop into these next plays. But quick little recap. Freaking awesome yesterday. Freaking love to see it. So we hit both of these plays. Uh, actually, it was a Tampa Bay game. I decided to go with under one and a half hits allowed. And that hit, the, but there was one hit allowed, and it was a home run. So the first inning runs allowed did not hit, but the first inning hits allowed hit. So we killed that. We ended up hitting on our $25 risk-free yesterday. So that was awesome. But anyways, let's hop in, talk about this. Uh, Tyler Meggle here is going to be my first player prop today. Again, I'm recording this late at night. So hopefully this one is still available when you guys are watching this video. If he is not available at four and a half, I do like him at five, at least at the moment. I do like him at five, but if he's bumped up any more than five, do not like it. I would not personally play it. Four and a half or less or, or five, I would be okay with just probably for less units. But I like Tyler Megal here over four and a half strikeouts. Let's take a look more into this one here. And if you guys go ahead and take more of a look into this prop here, you would find out that he is only a plus 108 to go over five and a half strikeouts. That's really good for him being at four and a half strikeouts. So he's five for eight this season. Milwaukee ranks 18th in K percentage to right-handed pitchers, so kind of middle of the road. Uh, right, um, he's two for three at home this season, and he's actually a very good home hitter, or not hitter, but home pitcher, because his hit rate between this season and last season jumps from 69% to 77% when at home. So he's been very, very good uh, when it comes to home games. I've been liking a lot more overs with these pitchers, by the way, because they've been getting a lot longer leashes, I've noticed. A lot of these guys have started pitching 100 inning games when they've usually been pitching like you know, 92, 96. Now they're, now they're pitching into the hundreds, 110, all the different stuff. So I've been definitely noticing that a lot with some of these player props. So I've been liking a lot more overs. But anyways, let's take a look into this one here. So the New York Mets game here is going to go ahead and be at 710 here. Milwaukee is going to New York. Uh, the Mets are favored in this game. Over under is seven and a half runs right there. This is what this game long looks like. Four strikeouts, one strikeout, uh, both away games. Angels, he should have hit in this one, uh, but he only hit pitched with 3.1 innings right there. Nationals, very, very tough team. He only had one strikeout against them, uh, at least when it comes to strikeouts. Atlanta, very easy strikeout team. Philly, easy strikeout team. Arizona, easy strikeout team. So we did actually miss in this Philly game. Uh, I don't really know what happened in this one. Only five innings pitched, five strikeouts, no no runs allowed or anything. So I don't, I don't remember what Oh, I think he got hurt in this one, didn't he? Zero, because he's allowed zero hits too. Is that what happened? I don't remember what happened in this game. Uh, no, he didn't get hurt because he came back then. For, I don't know. I don't remember what happened in this one, but he did not end up hitting in this one against Philadelphia, which was really weird. I don't know why that was. Should have looked more into that one. But uh, right here against Arizona, he came back and had seven right there. So he's been doing very, very good this season, especially when it comes to home. But uh, this is what starting pitchers have done against the Brewers lately. So right here, Peterson, he's not a strikeout pitcher. He had three. Then you have Bassett, whose line was at five and a half. We played him. He had seven. Uh, they have Patrick Corbin, usually at like three and a half, four and a half. He ended up going under. Uh, Fetty, usually at four and a half, he had four. Uh, Eflin, probably around that five and a half mark, he had two. Uh, Aaron Nola had six. Suarez, who was probably four and a half, had five. Uh, and, you know, they've been kind of all over the place, but I am definitely liking the spot here for Tyler Megal against the Milwaukee Brewers today. So that is the first player prop in today's video. 
Moving on, let's take a look at our second player prop here. It's going to go ahead and be Luis Severino over six and a half strikeouts here today against the Tampa Bay Rays. I definitely do like this prop here. Um, I would not play this if this is bumped. If this, if you guys are watching this and this is bumped to seven, I personally would not play it. So I'm not going to tell you guys to play anything. Obviously, tail your own risk and all that. But I wouldn't tell you guys to take a play. I wouldn't tell you guys to not take a play. I'm just showing you guys what I like. But Severino here, I personally would not play if he's at seven. I do like him over six and a half, though. I personally have already locked this in and posted it on the Patreon. Luis Severino and Tyler Mega over four and a half and six and a half strikeouts. But let's take a look into this one here. So... Uh, right here, 705 today. He is at home here versus the Tampa Bay Rays. It looks to be the an eight over under right here. So let's take a look right here. So his game log here, 10, 10, 8, 5, 7, 8, 4, 5. So you can see that it definitely ramped up right here. And I'll explain why I think that is here. So let's take more of a look into this one here. He is a minus 127 to go over six and a half strikeouts at the time of this recording. Uh, four out of 10 this season. But he's had 90 plus pitches in his last six games. So when he has 90 plus pitches, it's been all the last six games. He's been getting a much longer leash and been pitching a lot more. So I've been liking this for Luis Severino here. Because in those six games where he has, where he, this season where he's had 90 plus pitches, he is hitting four out of his last six. And the two misses, Kansas City and the White Sox. Two very, very tough strikeout teams. So he's only had two L's versus, you know, really tough teams, at least in the last six games. But he also already faced Tampa, and he had eight against them this season, which actually just came on the 29th. So it's been a little bit, though, so I'm not that worried about them being, like, you know, super super locked onto him. But uh, Tampa Bay does rank ninth in K percentage versus right-handed pitchers. So I am looking at the spot here, though, for Luis Severino. So let's take more of a look into this one. We already took a look at this right here. This is what his game log looks like. We already kind of talked about this as well. 10, 10, 8, 5, 7, 8. So he's been going pretty uh, crazy here against the Cubs, Detroit, the Rays. Uh, White Sox here was one of those misses he had against Baltimore, but he's got another easy matchup here this time against the Rays. So I'm definitely liking the spot here for Severino. And this is what starting pitchers have done against the Rays lately. I'm not too worried about this per se, but uh, Cortez did go under strikeouts. Garrett Cole went under his strikeouts, uh, at least what their lines were at. But then they haven't really played too many guys like Sands, Gonzalez, and Smelter. I mean, Smelter was probably at two and a half strikeouts. Sands, I don't even, I barely even know who that is. And he had five strikeouts. I have no idea what his line was at. Nicholas dropped nine on their head with eight innings pitch right there. He did great. Nicholas, I feel so bad for him the other day, man. Uh, but seven innings pitch right here, six strikeouts right there for Dakota Hudson. His line was probably three and a half. So maybe four and a half against the uh, against the Rays. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much going to do it for today's video, though. Hopefully it's helped you guys out a little bit. Again, I'm telling you guys what I like. I'm not telling you guys to play anything. Uh, always tail your own risk, man. But if you guys are interested in joining the Patreon, the link is in my description. Plenty of plays over there. Less than 40 cents a day over on the Patreon is $10. Or I'm sorry, it's not 10. I think I said $10 earlier in the video. It's $11.99. I was going to change it to 10, but for some reason, Patreon won't let me change the price. So it's stuck at $11.99, unfortunately. But that is going to go ahead and do it for the end of the video, man. I seriously do appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Peace out, boys. Best of luck today. Let's, let's hit some big wins.